Hello friends, my name is Nitis and in this video I am going to show you that how you can use this URL launcher in your Flutter application. So I am going to use my ID Android Studio. You can use Visual Studio too. And uh, Flutter URL. Let's just start. So now I am going to tell you that what is this URL launcher. So using the URL launcher, you can launch any URL like you have any URL www dot something google dot com yahoo dot com gmail dot com or facebook dot com and or someone blogs uh, if there is someone blogs URL and when you click on that link, you want that this link should be open in your browser. So this can be done using this URL launcher. Or sometimes you see that in any app there is a contact number of some organization or some company and when you click on that contact number that contact number get copied in your dialer and it's give you to call on that number so you can do this using this uh, url launcher and sometimes you see the email of any organization or some people in any app and when you click on that email it's open your emailing application and from there you can send the email you don't need to write that to that to whom you are sending this email because that email is get copied for uh, that email is got sent from that application to that application using that URL launcher when you click on that uh, URL when you click on that email so I am going to show you that so now my uh, I got my boilerplate code and now I am going to start so the very first thing which I am going to do is that uh, I'm going to add that dependency URL launcher okay package get get dependency get dependency now it's done okay uh, I'd completed my first step and the second step is that I need to delete this file because it's useless okay second step is also done and now i am going to erase this all the code and i will write from the scratch and i am going to start my android emulator also so let's start uh, so i i will fast forward this video soon because Okay, now I am done. Uh, open, click. Okay, now I am going to launch my application because I had wrote a boilerplate for my URL launcher app. Like I want a edit text field from where I will write uh, the URL text field, and after writing the URL, I will click on the button and which will launch that application, which will launch that URL so this is my boilerplate code now i am going to do the main thing which is related to url launcher so that is i need to import url launcher okay and after this uh, i have to uh, but before doing anything i am going to show you that uh, ui of that application after that i will do anything installing app it will take some time okay now you can see this this is our url launcher and uh, here we have to write something and after that we have to click on this like uh, open this console when i click on this currently open click here you can see that i had wrote this message when you will click on the the method will be called and inside the method open click has been wrote and it is printing here so uh, the first step is done I think I had forgot to write this uh, what title and so I need to URL launcher okay now it's good so I'm going to add some padding here because this is not looking good 
I think 20 will be good okay now we can start so come to the next coming to the next step now what we want is that uh, we want that when we click uh, write some URL like HTTPS and I uh, not and I www dot google dot com and when we click on this it should open this URL so for that uh, now I am going to write the code first I am going to grab that uh, of, uh, what I am going to take this input text from this field so for that I am going to uh, write a code URL dot text now we get, got that text from that uh, field to this URL variable now we want that this should launch this URL should be launched so for that we need to call this launch and inside this launch we need to pass the, pass the URL so I had did that now if I will click on this launch open URL it will launch let's check see okay it's launched the URL and Google has been opened okay let's go back to our application let's try something else like if we will try to write um, facebook.com facebook.com and it it's opened the facebook.com and let's write something else like after the launching the URL we can launch some more thing like we can launch telephone number like we write some telephone number okay it is giving us error the reason is that let's see the reason mm, an exception and no activity found this 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 okay the problem is that we have wrote let me zoom this so that you can see you can see that instead of tell I had write root double L that's why it is giving us the error and tell is uh, not a valid URL that's why it gave us error so we need to check uh, launching before if bef before launching any URL we need to check this that that URL can be launched or not so for that there is a function can launch it will ret return a boolean expression and uh, which will tell that it can launch the url or not and but only we need to pass the url to confirm that it can launch url or not okay and as it is returning the boolean expression we can put this inside the if if url can be launched so just launch the url if it can sorry if it cannot be launched then do something else like there is error above i know uh, URL can not be launched okay launched and this is giving us error let's see that why this is give. the return type is future bool and uh, it is not returning the boolean expression it is returning the future bool it means that it will return the boolean expression but it may take some time so if it may take some time we need to wait for the response of this scan wait so for that we will use we need to use this await and await is always asynchronous so it's now fine now let's test this now if we will click on this open url it will open this but now let's check that if we will do some mistake what will happen tell tell and if I click on the, before that uh, let me clear this console okay now you can see here that URL cannot be launched because this is not a valid URL so let's delete this and now this can be launched so I told you two things uh, what is this can launch and launch so there are some more things which can be done using this like we can launch this SMS we need to write this everything in a smaller case we cannot use this upper case sorry sorry cannot be launched sms okay our messaging app is launched okay and uh, is there anything which we can launch yes there is one more thing which we can launch using this is mail to and using this mail to we can send email to anyone like my email id is nitishk72 at the rate gmail.com if i open this 
it has been open and the, at the top you can see here that nitish k72 at the rate gmail.com okay let's go back instead of this uh, we can pass some more thing like if you want to pass the subject we can pass subject also like youtube and as it is a url launcher it uh, accept url encoded form you cannot we cannot uh, give the space between two strings so we have to pass modulus 20 for the space youtube is love okay if i click on this now you can see this here youtube is love has been wrote and there is space between youtube and each and each and love because we have passed modulus 20 which is equivalent to space so these are the things which can be launched using this url launcher first one is email you can launch email second one is you can launch any website or url uh, website or url and third thing which you can launch is any sms and fourth is a telephone number or phone number uh, so this is the use of this url launch